Hello YouTube, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2019 Ford F-150 XLT. This particular one does have the XLT Sport Appearance Package, which gives you color matched front and rear bumpers, as well as this grayed out grille. The exterior color is a beautiful ruby red that absolutely pops in the sunlight. You do have your standard halogen lighting with this XLT, as well as some fog lights. You do have tow recovery hooks in the front as well. Coming around to the side, we have some Michelin Primacy XCs. The tire size is a 275-65R18, and I believe these are the uh, XLT Sport specific wheels. Plastic fender flares as well. Here's your XLT badging. Really nice low profile looking running boards. Very, very nice color. The exterior of this vehicle is absolutely beautiful. There's your Sport 4x4 badging, as well as your chromed tipped exhaust. And Ford includes these plastic moldings to help protect against rock chips. Standard halogen lights. This vehicle does have the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. Your tailgate release, backup camera, Ford badging, and then F-150 is stamped into the tailgate. We have your standard seven pin and four pin connectors, as well as backup sensors in integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Right over here we have your capless fuel fill port. And like on most all Ford vehicles, you have your keyless entry keypad right there. <laughs> very, very beautiful looking truck. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting out over here on the left hand side, if you'll be able to see, we have all of your window controls right here. And then above that, we have all of the buttons for the mirror controls. Coming over to the right, we have all of the controls for the lighting of this vehicle. Interior dimmer switches as well as exterior lighting. Below that we have a uh, electronic parking brake and to the right of that we have your power adjustable pedal buttons. Coming up to the instrument cluster we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right. I believe that's a 3 inch uh, LCD screen in the middle and you have various gauges up top. Working our way back, you have this plasticky leather, rubbery feeling steering wheel. It is still very soft and nice in the hand. This control pad over here controls the LCD display in the middle. Below that we have all of your cruise control buttons. On the right side of the steering wheel we have all of your volume controls. And then below that we have your hands-free call buttons. Speaker up here, shallow storage tray right there. Here is your traction control off button, your hazard light button, and this vehicle is equipped with uh, automatic start stop. To turn it off, you'll push it, and then it'll have a little indicator indicating that it is off. Down here we have your uh, touchscreen display, very responsive. This one does have navigation as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if your phone has that capability, you'll be good to go. Below that we have all the physical buttons for the radio, volume knob, tune knob, and then your um, manual tune buttons as well as your pre-selected uh, preset favorites. Over to the left we have your transfer case selection knob. Right now we are in two high. You can turn it to four high or four low. Over here we have the single zone climate control for this vehicle. The two captain's chairs are equipped with heated seats. To the left of that we have a little storage cubby right here. This is where the uh, pro trailer backup system would go if you opt for that package. Push this silver bar forward giving you access to some storage. You have two USB ports right here. To close it, push it, and it shoots back down. Little storage tray here, two cup holders, and then your gear selection right here with manual plus and minus on the actual uh, shifter itself. Working our way back to the leather wrapped armrest, push this button giving you access to a pretty big storage compartment. 
This is removable. You do have storage for some business cards as well as change. And then an absolutely massive storage bin down here. There's actually a lot of room in there. You have two spots for pens up top as well. Here's the seat pattern for this XLT Sport. Actually looks pretty cool. That's a pretty neat looking design. Over here we have a little storage shelf tray. Standard glove compartment with halogen lit light and a little shelf. Coming up top to the vanity, it is not lit for passenger or driver. Let's see if this will focus. Right here we have the button for the power sliding rear window. Beyond that, we have your glasses storage compartment. And then in front of those, we have all of the dome map light buttons. Pretty standard interior. Um, overall, pretty nice. I like the touchscreen display and everything is laid out in a nice ergonomic way. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in the back, I want to kind of point out how easy it is to fold these seats up. Uh, one hand and they're up. Not only do you have storage under here, but you also have a flat load floor. There is no uh, transmission hump, which is absolutely awesome. Now, once the seat is in the upright position, it is actually locked into place. So to unlock it, you're going to pull on this little string right here, and then you can pull it down and it will be uh, ready to be sat in again. Getting up is real easy with these uh, running boards and the grab handle they give you. Tons and tons of legroom back here. I'd say I have easily a foot of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders up top, 12 volt outlet right here. Two USB ports, as well as a 110 volt, 400 watt max power outlet right there. And on the right and left, you do have rear passenger uh, ventilation. This being an XLT, you do not get the center armrest. Um, on the higher trim vehicles, you would get one right here. You have hanger hooks on both passenger and driver side, as well as LED dome map light right there. Um, this vehicle does not have the panoramic sunroof, so you get absolutely an amazing amount of headspace. You can see they kind of uh, focus for you. They kind of cut out part of the headliner so that way they can make it uh, higher. And right here too, there's another lip on the headliner giving the rear passengers a ton of headroom as well. Let's take a look at the tailgate. So the only way to release the tailgate on this vehicle is to actually come up to it and pull it. Um, it is not assisted on the XLT, however it is very light being aluminum. Uh, this particular model does have a drop-in bed liner with LED bed lighting. It's very cool. And then four tie-down points at each corner of the bed. Again, two fingers and it's up. Let's take a closer look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Again, it's a 2019 Ford F-150 4x4 Super Crew. It's a 2.7 liter V6 and a 10 speed automatic transmission. The exterior is ruby red metallic and the interior is black sport. All of your standard equipment is going to be in this rectangle right here, bringing the standard vehicle price to $42,915. Your optional equipment is going to be right here. Most notably, you have the Equipment Group 302A, which is a $4,345 upcharge. The vehicle price before discounts is $52,435. However, you do get the XLT Luxury Chrome or Sport discount for $1,750. The XLT Lariat Navigation minus $500, the XLT Power Equipment Group minus $250 for a total savings of $2,500, bringing the total MSRP of this vehicle to $49,935. The fuel economy estimates are right over here. This vehicle is rated at 19 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. Now, a lot of people in my videos say, 
wow, MSRP, your total price, that's a high, high number. Um, yes, they can be, however, very rarely, if ever, should you actually be paying sticker price or MSRP on a vehicle. Um, I'm actually doing this vehicle because a close family friend is leasing this truck, and with the rebates and incentives, sign and drive, so no money down, they're leasing it for three years for $350 a month. Um, so leasing deals sometimes are better than buying. However, uh, if you were to purchase this and you qualified for different rebates and incentives, um, and depending on what time of year you buy, this number can be somewhat closer to a, a, around the base price of 42915 Again, it depends on what you qualify for and what time of year you buy. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Spirit Ford located in Dundee, Michigan for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in getting into a new 2019 Ford F-150 XLT Sport or any of the 2019 F-150 lineup, I will be leaving all of the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.